Uh, congenital ichthyosis is by definition congenital, uh, which means it's a genetic disorder. There are probably 25 or 30 different gen genes that are associated with this particular disease. We are focusing uh, on two different forms of ichthyosis. One is called X-linked ichthyosis, um, and that is a, a bit more common. That happens in one to every three to 6,000 male children. Um, it can occur in, in females, but it is extremely rare. Um, and the second form is a little a bit rarer or much rarer, actually. It's called autosomal recessive uh, congenital ichthyosis of the lamellar type. And that occurs in probably one to 100,000 to one and 300,000 human beings. Um, and put simply, if you think of the skin as a wall, a brick wall, particularly, brick walls are made up of obviously bricks and mortar. And to have a good solid wall, you need to have good bricks and good mortar. Well, these genetic mutations um, cause abnormalities in either the bricks uh, or the mortar. And so under that circumstance, um, the wall becomes much looser, the bricks don't sit in place. Um, and in physiological terms, what that does is um, it causes the body to overproduce, um, in this case, bricks, which are skin cells. And that leads to the thick uh, covering that a lot of these uh, patients have that predominantly covers you know, in the worst cases, their entire body from literally the top of their scalp to the bottom of their feet. Um, and these are, as I said, all genetic abnormalities. We are studying, there's a single genetic abnormality for X-linked recessive uh, or X-linked ichthyosis, and that's a single gene, the STS gene. But there are at least 12 or so different genes that provide the same disease uh, phenotype or appearance for lamellar disease. And in our trial, which is unique, we're actually including about nine of those different genetic diseases. If you look at the literature, uh, particularly the anecdotal cases, um, most of the literature only looks at one or two different genetic mutations that are being treated by the treatment under, uh, under evaluation. We're studying nine different genetic abnormalities. So the hope is, is that our data will be able to uh, really, in a sense, revolutionize the treatment and the knowledge around congenital ichthyosis.